Welcome back to Konoi Crossover. What a great interview with Dwayne. Told us about his coaching journey and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to talk about what's happening in NBA. Look at Dwayne's opinions and also our opinions. So Mark, what's happening in the NBA? All right, let's go straight up to, because now the playoffs are coming soon, very, mm -hmm. very soon. Uh, we already know some of the top teams in, in both East and West. I want to, you know, get your opinions in terms of some of the dark horse team that you feel like it's going to cause some problems to these top teams in the NBA. Let's go straight up to the East. Which team do you guys feel like is going to be like one of the dark horse coming into the playoffs? I think it's the 76ers, man. Even though it's going to be their first year, probably this all the together. Process the yeah. process is like... It's, process it, complete? It's, it's, it's not complete. No, the process took to another level. Yeah, the yeah, process yeah. turned to playoffs. Yeah. So even though, they, <laughs> even though they don't have their, like, their first draft pick of their point guard, um, Mark L. Fultz, it's, it's, they have their team together. Ben Simmons, Joel Embiid. Uh, mm -hmm. JJ Redick, everyone together. So I think that with this team together, they're going to be a, a dark horse for myself. Um, Bucks, you know, Pacers, they've done it before. Pacers, you could probably say as well with Victor Oladipo, but I think Sixers will be at that top with that whole, that new chemistry that, mm -hmm. you know, you never know what they're doing. And Joel Embiid, with that personality and from, with, from what he does on and off the court, it affects his teammates and it affects his teammates and the crowd. When he, when he plays in home games, it's going to affect the playoffs when whoever matches up with them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Who do I like? I like Bucks. I like, uh, you know, Giannis, the god. <laughs> I like, well, just the beginning of the season, he played like an MVP. Oh. I feel like it's time to show everyone in the playoff who the real MVP is, even though he's not in the race anymore as compared uh, to Harden and not. LeBron. Mm -hmm. But Giannis, to face someone like that in the playoffs is like a dangerous, you know, that's something that... He's a matchup nightmare. It's a matchup nightmare. Mm -hmm. And only if Bucks like get it together, because obviously they haven't been playing really the best basketball they could be, but I really think playoff is a different beast. And that's like something you'd say when LeBron's in the playoffs or mm -hmm. like when those type of players are in the playoff who play way better. So I feel like Giannis will come out on top and... I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna bet Bucks will surprise some people. Yeah. How about you, Dwayne? What's your? Yeah. Uh, I I like to be honest the Miami Heat. I was oh. just thinking the same thing. Uh, thinking. <laughs> I just like their chemistry. What's going on right now? Yeah. Um, like they have players, like they're starting five. They're good at their roles. Like Dragic could distribute. Josh Richardson could lock down guys. Um, you got Hassan Whiteside who could just clean up the like clean up the misses and yeah. and, and, and anchor the paint. Uh, they're gonna make. I think they're gonna make a good run, and they have some good outside shooters in Ellington. So mm -hmm. I think they could make a good run um, if they play Boston or the Raptors. Like I think they could. The uh, Raptors, no. I'm, I'm worried that. <laughs> yeah, yeah the, Raptors could be, the Raptors don't actually agree with doing. Yeah, like, I'm, I, they're yeah. so dangerous. Yeah, yeah. like Speaking they can play. They can play multiple. Like if you watch. The way their lineup is made, you can have Olenek at the five, and you have a stretch five. You can have you can play two bigs with you know Bam's playing well for them as a rookie, and you have Watson, Whiteside, and Olenek. That's a good big guys to have. Mm -hmm. And then all the forwards are so versatile. Justice Winslow, James Johnson, people forgot yeah. about how yeah. he's versatile, as mm -hmm. as well as Josh Richardson, who yeah. can play their point and as a two way player. Um, mm -hmm. I agree with. I think mm -hmm. Miami is scary to face in the playoffs. And speaking of Dwayne, they got mm -hmm. Dwayne Wade. They got Dwayne and Wade. Yeah. <laughs> don't, forget, don't forget about they Dwayne They got Dwayne. Dwayne. Yes. Yeah, yeah. The yeah. Bench. Yeah. Off the bench, Dwayne. Oh, oh, might be the the bench, still, I think scary. he's still going to be producing the same, man. Yeah. 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 Well, let, let's go to the West then. Like, mm -hmm. who, are, who are your dark horse team in the West? Um, damn. <laughs> it's a lot of tough teams, man. Yeah. Oh my goodness. You don't even know who's gonna make the playoffs. That's yeah. the thing. So it's 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 so it's so tight. I think all it's, all the uh, teams that you listed off, from the third seed all the way to the eight, and probably like competing for the playoff race in the ninth and tenth, they all they can be in the playoffs. Like I, 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 any combination of that five or six or seven teams can make it to the playoffs. But what stands out to me, I think. Damian Lillard and the Portland Trailblazers. What Damian Lillard has been doing in the second half of the season, carrying his team basically, producing numbers, points wise, assist behind um, the big guys, CJ McCollum. I think they're 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 moving on up, and which they did. They've been moving on up in the in, in the Western Conference, Holly, trying to get to that fourth and fifth seed play, uh, playoff spot. But it's going to be some tough tough moves. They got to win some games, but I think I think. My, my dark horse for the Western Conference will be the Portland Trailblazers just because of Dwayne, Damian Lillard. Damian Lillard. That clutch factor is 
DL time. <laughs> Download. Download. <laughs> I would say, say Thunder, man. I'm going to stick with like the playoff mat nightmares. Like to guard Paul George or even Westbrook in the playoffs is like Westbrook by himself in the regular season, his passion and his drive is like mm. top the try. So in the playoffs, I don't think he's going to slow down. He's going to even go even more. It just now just depends on how well they gel and if that regular season playing together. Um, will create that, you know, push in the playoffs. So I'm going to say Thunder. That will be the most exciting team to watch, too. Yeah. So. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Dwayne, how about you? I, I would honestly say the Utah Jazz. Mm. Yeah, because I just, they're kind of like the Miami Heat. <laughs> <laughs> they grind, they're, they're, they're grind, grind, right? They're grind, right? Yeah, like they like, just, yeah and they get it done. My type of basketball, right? Grinding, getting the wins, like, yeah, Gobert again, anchoring the thing. Donovan Mitchell's having, like, a phenomenal oh season. Mm. Like, that guy's just going off and Rick, you got Ricky Rubio yeah. uh, and then the acquisition of Jay Crowder helps the perimeter defense so they're going to be they're going to be a tough team to beat going into uh, April in the playoffs um, mm. whoever they match up with is going to be it's going to be an exciting matchup mm. I, I personally think yeah. how about you Mark? this is this is me hoping that they'll survive the next the road games without in all their games without Jimmy Butler I'm going to go with the Wolves just because of the fact that once playoff comes it's really all about the stars or you know it, it makes such a big difference if you have a, one or two superstars in your team uh, as you can see with LeBron like you know once playoff starts like it's just so hard for them because you have to face them every single you know for at least seven days a week of the same team and and if you don't have any you know matchup uh, to defend that star player, it's so difficult. Like, no matter how much you prepare, if you have nobody to stop, uh, the player that they have a star player, and you can't win the series. And that's, I think, what's going to happen with the Wolves. If Carl Anthony Towns just and Jimmy Butler it comes back healthy, uh, nobody, it's either one, you stop one, and you have, you know, because Jimmy Butler has that alpha mentality that's saying, I'm going to take over games, and that's what he did with the Wolves. He took over it, and he, was, he became the main first option player, and that's when they started really becoming you know, one of the top teams. And when they lost him, you know, Towns kind of took over and Towns has been kind of holding off a bit. He, he still needs help. And I think Jimmy Butler is key. So for me, for them to be a dark horse team, Jimmy Butler needs to be healthy. And I think he will be just in time for the playoffs. And I think it's going to be a hard time for a lot of the top teams in the, in the West to kind of compete mm -hmm. with the firepower that Thibodeau has now that he has Derrick Rose to kind of help out the bench mm -hmm. and Jamal Crawford off that. And then Wiggins is still kind of finding his way. They have some good role players too. And dang... Uh, Taj Gibson, Tyus Jones. That's a, that's a pretty good built team in terms of going into the playoffs. So I'm, I have them coming out. Got, the, the, dark got the Minnesota, Bu Minnesota, Minnesota Bulls. Minnesota Bulls. Yeah. The Bulls out in <laughs> the West. They reunited all of them. <laughs> <laughs> all of them's back together. You never know what can they do, man. On yeah. paper, they look good. Mm -hmm. All right. We wonder what your opinions are about that topic. But hey, our show's coming to an end. Let's give out some shout outs. Dwayne, anyone you'd like to shout out or thank? Uh, I'd like to thank my family. Um, my Mega City family, the Vaughn family, you guys, yeah. you're doing a great job. Um, Thank you. Uh, every, and all the Filipino and the Filipino community, uh, keep keep it up. Shout out to your team too. That's yeah. just and also yeah, too. and we have yeah. a and my uh, Boom basketball team are getting prepared for our on point playoffs on uh, mm -hmm. on Monday when we play Top Boy. So Ooh. it's gonna be a, it's gonna tough, be a, it's gonna be right it's there. gonna be a tough game right there. It's gonna be a grinder, mm -hmm. but. Um, it's all about the grind. Yeah, it's all about the grind. Like, <laughs> like hopefully Norman's all right. Yeah. Bill De Silva will oh, will yeah. uh, will be doing well. Yeah. So, we'll, uh, I'm looking forward to Monday. So, it's gonna be a it's gonna be a tough it's gonna be a tough one. But yeah, I nice. gotta this weekend I gotta do some homework and study, uh, <laughs> do some scouting. Get to the film. Do some scouting. <laughs> Mike, film session. Film session. <laughs> Mark, anything you'd like to say? Uh, just you know, to shout out to our fans, like on all our social media, mm -hmm. who's been following us on. All our platform, whether it's Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, or uh, Twitter, you guys have been great. You're giving us great feedbacks, especially on the Facebook. A lot of you know, a lot of people in the Philippines now have been watching some of the games. So we've mm -hmm. covered a lot of uh, Canadian basketball coming into the Philippines. So shout out to them mm -hmm. for supporting and uh, just giving a shout out to there. Mm -hmm. And uh, shout out to Coach Mike, Mike Cruz, and Crossover Canada. You know, you guys play the N uh, SM NVTC uh, and Dreamers League. Um, you guys made it to the Sweet 16. Unfortunately, you guys uh, weren't able to make it that uh, f uh, pursue it further. But congrats to you guys. You guys had a wonderful uh, tournament as well. We we saw it and we shared Facebook posts about your games. It looked pretty good, man. You guys did a pretty good job. So can't wait to have you guys back here in Canada and prepare for 
another Filipino tournament as well. Mm. Can't wait for that one. Big Filipino tournaments are coming this year. Montreal, woohoo! Oh. <laughs> but hey, that's all we have. Remember, guys, stay balling.